Hello, welcome to DIY Pixel Art Project. My name is Ken Fritz. I am the Digital Services Specialist at the Barrington Area Library. Today, we are going to go through the steps to complete a pixel art coloring of Nintendo's famous Mario character. For this demonstration, I'm going to be using Google Sheets, but you can complete this project with any spreadsheet program, including Apple Numbers or Microsoft Excel. You can also complete this project the old-fashioned way, just by coloring by hand with colored pencils, markers, or crayons. You will only need five colors. Red, brown, tan, blue, and black. I have created two documents that will help you complete this project. Let's download these files by going to balibrary.org. Okay. So here at balibrary.org, scroll down the page where you see upcoming events. Click here where it says register slash view all programs. And then in the search bar on the left hand side, go ahead and type the word pixel. And then over here you will see the DIY pixel art project. Go ahead and click that. So over here on the right hand side we see two attachments. The first are the instructions. The first page of the instructions list which colors to use and also which cells should be colored. The second page is a printable grid that you can use if you are coloring by hand. And then the third page is what the final result should look like. The goal is to make Mario look like how he did in the original Nintendo games. The overall cube shape of the design as well as the limited color palette will help us achieve this look. The second file is a spreadsheet file. You only need to download this if you want to complete this project on the computer. Here is the pixel art template. As you can see, the grid has 16 rows and 16 columns. Think of each cell in the grid as one pixel. Each cell can only have one color in it. The rows are numbered one through 16, and the columns have letters A through P. Each cell has a unique name. So for example, we see cell A and 1, and then B1 here. Um, the column as well as the row are highlighted wherever we are. So we click on a random cell, we see this one is L and 5. In the instructions PDF, I found that it would be easiest to go one row at a time to color the cells. The cells in the instructions are essentially listed from left to right just the way that you would read a book. Any cell that is not listed in the instructions is meant to be left blank. Okay, so let's get started with the coloring. First, I'm going to start with red. So according to the instructions, we see that red will be in rows 1, 2, 8, 9, 10, and 11. And so I'm just going to go row by row and then color in each of the cells based on which column to color in. So for example, row number 1, we see that we need to color F, G, H, I, and J. So in order to select multiple cells, all you need to do is just click and drag. So I started in cell F1, and then I dragged it all the way to J1. With all those selected, then go ahead and choose the Fill Color tool up here, and then go ahead and choose Red. Now, moving on to the second row, we see I need to select all of the cells from E to M. So I'm in row two here. I'm going to select E2, and then I'm going to go all the way to M2. 
Now that all of those are selected, I go back up to the Fill Color tool and I choose red. So that completes the hat. Now I need to go down to row 8 and I'm going to color six cells, but they are not all consecutive like how the hat was. So we see I need to color E, F, H, I, and K, L. So row eight, E and F, and in order to select multiple cells that are not right next to each other, all I need to do is hold down the control key on Windows or hold down the command key on a Mac and then click all the cells that I want and it will only color in those cells. So for example, I already have E and F. Next I want H and I and then I want K and L. And when I go up to fill color and choose red, then we see that all six of these cells are colored in. So now row nine, we want D, E, F, H I K L M. And now row ten, we want C D E F K L M M. And in row 11, we want to color in E and L. So again, just hold down Command and then click E and L. And then choose red. So that completes red. To double check that I did everything correctly, I'm going to click on the second tab that says Mario completed. And it looks like I have completed all of the red. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other colors. I am going to speed up the video um, because you get the concept of what to do. But you can continue to watch and um, see my method of how I do it. So in order to get brown, what I am going to do is go to custom colors right here because there's not really a good brown that's over here. So I'm going to click custom and then it is going to show up with a preview here. Um, I will kind of go more toward the orange and try to do like a darker type of brown. Once I get something that I like, then I can click OK. And yeah, that brown is pretty good. So I will keep doing that. Um, when I go back to fill color, it will be down here in my custom colors.
So now I have completed my coloring of Mario. It looks good. I double checked my work by clicking on the other tab here. It looks great. So now when I go to print it, you will see that the grid lines are here. And some of you might want to print it out with grid lines, and that's totally fine. Uh, then just complete the process. If you want to get rid of these grid lines, all you need to do is just click and drag all of the cells that have the grids. So that would be A1 through P16. Make sure all of them are highlighted. And then go up to the borders tool here. And then there's an option to clear all the borders. And so now when you go to file and print, this might be more desirable depending on your preference. So you can get rid of the grid lines if you want when printing. This is the result of me hand coloring the blank template. Feel free to get creative and follow the instructions using your own color scheme. That concludes this pixel art project. Feel free to rewatch the video and pause when necessary. If you have further questions about this project, I'm happy to answer them. Please email me at digitalservices at balibrary.org. Thank you very much and take care.